Hi, it is Dwyer of DwyerCrime.blog and of RichardDwyer.com. Let's revisit the Breonna Taylor case. Let's make sure we understand the level of depravity that took place. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me just say, there are few things in life that I value as much as my freedom, as my constitutional rights. You have a right to privacy in your house. Absent exigent circumstances, some pending emergency situation, the police need to obtain a warrant to search your house. They need to do so based on statements that would give the state some reasonable cause to search your home. Now, I've heard pundits opine that somehow Breonna Taylor, who was not committing a crime, who was in her bed with her boyfriend, somehow was in the wrong. Right? You've heard Charles Barkley, who I have a lot of respect for. Shaquille O'Neal, who I have a lot of respect for. Talk about how the boyfriend when the cops came in right plain clothes pursuant to a no-knock warrant right the cops claim they knock let's just say more than 90 percent of their neighbors say otherwise but the cops claim they knocked the boyfriend saw strangers in the apartment not wearing police uniforms. He fires a shot at them. A shootout ensues. But what I want people to realize is that the state was there pursuant to a bogus warrant. In other words, there is no question that Breonna Taylor, who was not a drug dealer, who was not involved in drug trafficking, who was simply an emergency medical technician off work at home in her own bed, right? She was a victim of the state's violation of her constitutional rights. Understand, to obtain the search warrant Detective Joshua James made the claim that Brianna Taylor's ex-boyfriend, a gentleman named Jamarcus Glover, was receiving suspicious packages at Brianna Taylor's home. That's the claim, folks. That's why they're at Brianna Taylor's home. That's why the cops come in armed that's why Brianna Taylor ends up getting shot eight times when she doesn't have a gun she's just been sleeping in her bed stands up when the cops come in what else is she supposed to do gets hit eight times understand the suspicious packages that Detective Joshua James claimed Breonna Taylor was receiving. The police knew a month before they invaded Breonna Taylor's home. They knew that those packages came from Amazon. The suspicious packages were Amazon deliveries. The cops knew it at least four weeks 
before their March 13th raid. In other words, folks, this is terrible corruption. This is an absolutely bogus warrant that the detective, Joshua Jaynes, knew would not fly had he told the truth. He would not have gotten permission, would not have gotten the warrant, the authorization to invade Breonna Taylor's home. The police shouldn't have been there. They were there pursuant to a lie by an officer made in an application for a warrant. If you don't know that the packages came from Amazon, which the cops knew at least four weeks, <laughs> Amazon off. If you don't know that the packages came from Amazon, pause. Obviously, Amazon is a big part of our lives now. If you don't know that the packages came from Jeff Bezos' company, then you don't know the case. You don't understand the level of the constitutional violation of Breonna Taylor's rights that happened here. There was no exigent circumstance. There was no need for a no-knock warrant. There was no justification for a warrant of any kind. So what you have here is a situation where based on a lie, the police invade a home. The people in the home who are in bed, they're not bothering anyone, they're in bed. The people in the home have to make a split-second decision. Here are people with guns in their house. The boyfriend fires at the intruders. Understand, when commentators talk about shots fired at cops, that didn't happen. Because the police were not identified. Right? Understand. These are people wearing plain clothes who entered pursuant to a no-knock warrant. Now the cops can claim after the fact that, oh, we knocked even though we had a no-knock warrant, even though most of the neighbors did not hear our knock. There's one neighbor who claims to have heard a knock. None of the others, I believe it's nine or ten other neighbors, heard any knock. No knock. Right? That situation should never have happened because the police had no basis, none, for entering Breonna Taylor's apartment. So let me close by just saying this has been wrongly cast in the news as some kind of left-wing cause. No, no. This is an American cause. Right? Many people support the right to defend yourself. More importantly, most people support. In fact, it's part of our Constitution. The privacy of your home. That's why we require police to get a warrant before entering our home. And we require that that warrant be based on truth, not information that the police know is false. Right? Brianna Taylor has no involvement in drug trafficking. Let's be clear. Certainly none is established by the delivery of Amazon packages to her home. Getting that from YouTube. 
right? Hold on. Amazon, off. All right, well, I'm going to hop off here so I could tend to my Jeff Bezos unit. But understand, this case is an outrage. The focus on what happened after the police wrongly entered the apartment pursuant to a bogus warrant based on false statements ignores the heart of the case which is the fraud that led to the issuance of the bogus warrant. Breonna Taylor was a victim here of corrupt police action. Right? We don't have to paint a broad brush and say all police are corrupt. But here, Detective Joshua James clearly was. And that is what led a young 26-year-old EMT who simply stood up out of her bed as strangers entered her apartment carrying guns to get shot eight times over nothing. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.